Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this short video, we're gonna be reviewing the Ryobi 18 volt disc uh, grinder, angle grinder. You can get this at Home Depot. The model number is kind of kind of long, PCL445B, but it's basically the 18 volt with the four and a half inch disc. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Like I said, this is a Home Depot only product. I'll try to put a link uh, down below, and as you can even see right here, it shows that you can do a lot, you know, different things with the same battery system. I have several other other tools, and I, I really like them. So let's check this out. This will be the handle. Interesting little uh, kind of cutout here. I've never never seen that. I'm not really sure what that's for. This is. I guess it's, oh, I see. It's just to store this tool. Oh, I see, it goes all the way in there like that. So that's kind of a nice idea, I guess. This is the tool that you use to change the discs out. So you can just store it away in the handle. I don't know, that might be a good idea. Here's the instruction manual. Oh, oh no, that's not, the, that's not the instruction manual. This is just kind of a, wow. <laughs> um, I don't know, a brochure of all their many different products that use their, what is it called, the Plus One, One Plus uh, battery system. I really love it. I love their one, their, what is it, One Plus. <laughs> one Plus system, I, like I said, I have like, I don't know, four or five different things now and I want them all. <laughs> They're so handy, so convenient. This is the actual manual, I suppose. Yeah, there it is. We're probably not gonna need that. We're probably not gonna need this today. But it's there, probably in a bunch of different languages. Uh, uh, writer review, maybe win some money. Probably won't be doing that. All right, here's the actual ankle grinder itself. Looks like, what else? Oh, we, oh cool. Just to, you know, so you know here it does come with, it does come with uh, your first grinding disc, not a cutting disc, but a grinding disc. I've had a lot of angle grinders now, or, or quite a few angle grinders now, but I've never had a battery powered one. Here it is. I can tell you first impressions is it's heavy. This feels maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling like this is heavier than my um, Harbor Freight one that I have that's not battery powered. Just the weight is pretty significant and of course we don't even have a battery on it yet. Feels very durable though, feels very strong, you know, feels good. Feels, yeah, way more substantial and probably durable than my Harbor Freight which I have like three of those $10 ones. It's also bigger. I don't have my other one here right now, but hang on, I'll go grab a, a measuring tape, but this is like pretty long. We don't even have the battery on yet. So let me grab a measuring tape and we'll see actually how big it is. And the length is about 13 and a half inches, not including the battery. And by the way, this one, at least the way I got it, the like the basic kit does, does not include a battery. You should definitely know that. I think you can buy you can buy it with a battery too, but uh, I already had two batteries, so we're just gonna throw in one of the batteries I already have. Now it's even bigger and heavier. Oof, my goodness, that's quite substantial. With the battery, size is about 15 inches long, so it's getting pretty big. I, I feel like my uh, corded one from Harbor Freight is much smaller. Maybe it only comes to about here. So this is definitely, you know, quite big. I mean, that's fine. I, I would like it to be a bit smaller, but it, you know, it'll be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put the grinder on and the handle. So the handle is going to be easy. You can do it left, you can do it left side or right side. I'm going to do it right side. Sometimes I just take these off completely. But for now, I'll go ahead and put it on. There we go. Just screws on. Oh, you can also do it on the top here too. That's a good point. I don't actually know the price. This is a gift, <laughs> but I think it's around 60 to $70. I'll put that down in the description. You can check that out. I'll even try to link to, uh, to where you can get one. Here's, the, here's another feature, uh, it has a lock. So I, I'm sure this is to lock it 
on. So if you're using it for a while and you don't want to just be holding the trigger all the time, you can just lock it in place and then unlock it. So that's sometimes nice. All right, let's go ahead and put that disc on. So I'll go ahead and pull out the, the tool from the handle. Now what's going on here? Okay, this is for the guard. If you see this, this clamp here, I'm not going to mess with it because it's fine, but basically if you don't need the guard or you want to rotate the guard, here, let's go ahead and just try it out. So probably, yeah, you just open that clamp. There we go. And then you can rotate your guard wherever you want it to be. I'm just going to put it right back around where it was for now. That's kind of nice. It makes it really easy. All right, so let's go ahead and put this disc that it came with on. You stick these uh, this right into here, and usually there's a button or something that you can stop it from rotating. Here it is. So this, by pressing this in, yep, you can stop the, uh, the arbor, is that right? <laughs> the, you can stop the motor from turning. That will allow you to unlock the, uh, the plate. Then put your disc on, they go like that, or the other way. Ah, this way, I believe. No, not that way. <laughs> That's good. So you know it doesn't go that way because it touches, hits the guard. It must be that way then. And this, I believe, goes in like this. I think that's right. I hope that's right. Okay. Just to be sure that I had that right, I took a quick glance at the instructions, and surprisingly, I didn't see at least easily where it shows how it's supposed to go, but luckily the product picture on the front of the package does show it going this way with the kind of the upward bit towards the inside. So I believe that is totally right. It wouldn't even work the other way. So anyway, I think we're ready to give it a go. Let's, uh, let's get ready, here we go. All right, I'm holding it. Um, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Trying to figure out where I want this. Uh... Yeah, I kind of like this quick release here because I kind of feel like you you may really want to move that guard around. Anyway, let's go grind something. Okay, this is an old water pump uh, that um, I'm going to get rid of really soon anyway, so I figure this will be something we can just kind of test and see how much power this has. Give you a couple first impressions. Okay, it's definitely possible to bog it down, as you can see. Yeah, you can see I bogged it down with just that little bit. I guess this is some kind of cast iron. Bogged it down again right there. I did that on purpose, you know, of course, just for the demonstration here. Okay, there you go. Let's take a closer look at what we did. As you can see, we did take a pretty good chunk out of, out of this pipe. My first impressions are this. It's probably not as strong as your standard, even very cheap $10, $20 one that you would plug into the wall, which isn't that surprising. This is battery powered. It is, I think, easier to bog down to a stop. I don't think it's to the point where you don't want to use it or it's no good or something like that, but just to let you know, 
Uh, the other thing is, I think it's qu quite a bit quieter than my like, 10 to $15 or whatever it is, Harbor Freight one, which is very nice. Uh, I don't have any ear hearing protection right now, and I guess I would like some if I was going to do it for be doing this for a while, but it's not that bad as it is. Um, vibrations are less. That may have to do with the mass, but I feel like the vibrations of this tool are less than the cheap one, the cheap Harbor Freight one that I have and pretty much any of the other ones that I've used. So that's kind of a nice thing. Let's go inside. Okay, back inside now. So my initial impressions are very positive, very favorable. Uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna love the fact that I don't have to run a cord everywhere I go. I'll just be able to grab this, throw in one of my standard batteries and start grinding. Usually, you know, for me and like probably most people, we don't have huge jobs. We just need to do a couple little things here and there. And I think this is gonna work absolutely perfectly. So, you know, I don't have a lot of information on it yet. Uh, over time, I'll keep you guys informed in the description or in the comments how this tool is going. Uh, here's the part number. Maybe I should have mentioned that before, PCL445. Let's go ahead and get the, get the weight, just so you have an idea about that too. Okay, let's do the weight check. This will be with the battery and a disc attached. That's uh, 2,521 pounds. That's 2.5 kilograms. I'll put the weight in uh, ounces or pounds so you can see that as well. Yeah, so 2,500 grams, 2.5 kilos. That'll be around five pounds, I, I reckon. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty hefty. Um, I think I like it. I think it's going to be good for me. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll give an update later though, let you guys know what I think about it. I think that's about it for this video. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.